This is the CD9 near south side repair and reconstruction project round five, our program round five project uh, with the city project number 103969. Uh, I am the presenter and project manager. My name is Jose Orozco. Uh, on the call, um, I'll let those uh, introduce themselves. I'll start. Uh, this is Mike Brennan with Near South Side Inc. Uh, work as a partner uh, with all the, the team in TPW. I'm, I'm, I'm Mary Hanna. I'm the engineering manager over Neighborhood C. Alex, sir, I'm with the engineering consultants, um, uh, ANA consultants. My name is Abul Fazel Zakir Salehi. I'm a project manager with the water department, city of Fort Worth. I'm Sally Ellerson. I do the capital project communications for water capital delivery. And uh, Tony Shalola, who is our assistant director, is also on the call. Okay, thank you. Um, the presentation purpose is to provide project scope and proposed improvements and to seek the community's input during development of this project. Uh, on the agenda are the, uh, the program updates, the project overview and scope and schedule, and then We'll hold all the questions and community input towards the end. Here you can see the scope of all the different uh, rounds that we did on this uh, repair and reconstruction program. This is the fifth round as annotated in the purple. The other colors indicate the other previous rounds as well as uh, current projects that are in construction in the general vicinity in this area. Here you can see the uh, new paving uh, also uh, part of round four where we're showing uh, Vickery and Kentucky Oleander and May. Annie and Bryan Street and Oleander and St. Louis. Excuse me, I believe that. Yeah. Uh, the project limits for round five are as follows. Uh, we have Peter Smith from Bollinger to Henderson uh, located in your upper left corner of the map. Uh, Peter Smith from Jennings to Galveston, just over to the right. And then we have the third segment, which is Galveston from Peter Smith to Broadway. Uh, fourth segment, kind of hidden on the upper, upper right, is Broadway from Interstate 35 to the dead end or railroad tracks. Uh, the fifth segment is West Tucker. Uh, from Lipscomb to Hemp Hill, 6th Street, from Rosedale to Terrell, uh, segment 7, which is Pulaski from St. Louis to Oak Grove, uh, 8 is, I lost it myself, up here on May Street from Peter Smith to Broadway, segment nine, which is Galveston from, uh, from Rosedale to just north of Pulaski. Um, segment 10 on the left hand is uh, South Lake Street from Magnolia to Rosedale. Segment 11 is Henderson from Terrell 
to um, from Magnolia to, to from Magnolia to Rosedale. Segment twelve is Travis from Ingram to Morphe, and last but not least, Morphe from Alston to Hemp Hill. Some of the existing conditions uh, within the project, you can see we have damaged and mixed paving. We have some brick and some asphalt and some concrete. Uh, also on Oak Grove and Pulaski, you can see from traffic, the roads all destroyed, um, damaged and rutted. There's also a missing curb um, and uh, more damaged asphalt. The project scope is to install approximately uh, 4,747 linear feet of new water line and 1,457 linear feet of wastewater. Here you can see the water. You see the wastewater that we're showing uh, in Galveston and in Cleveland. You can also see the water in 6th Street and a water department project within South Lake Street, which I'll discuss later. And wastewater in 6th Street as well. Uh, the scope of the project, uh, we plan to rehabilitate uh, the asphalt on all the streets with approximately 28,000 square yards of asphalt and approximately 7,400 linear feet of curb and gutter. The improvements to safety uh, and to provide amenities for pedestrians is to construct uh, approximately 20, just over 22,000 uh, square feet of brand new sidewalk and 58 uh, ADA ramps, and to fill in a bunch of gaps that are uh, currently at the project site, and also install 8,673 square feet of driveway. Uh, in that, we're reconstructing uh, 8,410 square feet of damaged existing driveways, and 13,551 square feet of uh, existing damaged sidewalk and 33 existing non-compliant and or damaged ramps. Once completed, uh, we plan it will look sim very similar to what you see on your screen, where you see the brand new paving, brand new sidewalk, brand new curb and gutter, uh, Brand new ramps, et cetera. Here you can see brand new sidewalk and brand new ADA ramps. Um, project schedule for this we plan to receive the 90% design this coming January and advertise for bids. Uh, the following March and open bids in April. And based on the bids, get council approval in July and award construction at the end of the summer. Uh, our target is August of 23 to uh, award the contract and to begin construction approximately September. And it should take approximately uh, 13 months. And so therefore we're tar it, we target, it should be completed by October, 2024, 2024. At this point, we open it to, uh, any questions or input anyone may have.
Let's say this is Mike. Um, I think we just have the the one uh, non staff member on the call. John, this is John French. He he's representing a development that's uh, located between Galveston and Cleveland. Um, my question is, we're obviously recording this, and I think that the presentation that you've just run through would be very helpful to those that would not that were not able to attend. Um, are we going to be able to? Um, send out links, you know, for example, if I know of folks that um, weren't able to make it tonight, but would be interested, are we able to send out links of the recorded meeting? Uh, short answer, I believe, Jeff, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, yes. Short answer is yes. Well, uh, Mike will put it on our YouTube channel and we can share it from there at will. Uh, and it will also go on the project page on our city website in case anyone happens to be looking there for some updates. Perfect. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyone else have questions? Well, if there's no other questions, um, my contact information uh, is as follows. Again, I'm the city project manager. Um, for this project, my name is Jose Orozco. My contact information is here. Uh, my office number is 817-392-8785. And my city email is jose.orozco at fortworthtexas.gov. Uh, thank you everyone for attending.